All right, welcome back to Self, that's sleep, exercise, love, and food. This is a channel where we give you evidence-based health and nutrition information so that you can come up with the best way to live your best life going on. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi, and in today's video, the topic that we're going to cover is how does your eating habits actually impact your mortality risk? Now, this is going to be a review of the recent study that was published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So, Let's dive into the data and see what it has to say. The study actually analyzed data from about 24,000 Americans ages 40 and over who participated in the NHANE survey. This is the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, and the data was collected between 1999 and 2014. And what the researchers found was that individuals who only eat one meal per day or who were skipping breakfast overall, they actually tended to have a slightly higher mortality risk going on. And in addition to that, what the researchers found was that meal frequency, of course, meal type, skipping meals, and the timing between one meal to another should be considered when you're trying to create a program or a regimen for your optimal health. So overall, when it comes to meal type, the study recommends a healthy eating pattern like the Mediterranean diet or the plant-based diet where you have fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, olive oil, etc., making up the bulk of what you're trying to eat. Now, overall, as you think about the meal type, you want to make sure that you're not villainizing one of the macros, meaning eat protein, eat carbohydrates, and eat healthy fats going on. Next, in terms of eating schedules, it's important to keep a consistent meal schedule. The ideal number of meals based on this study and the several other studies we've reviewed on this channel in the past is about two to three. Less than that, and you can get micronutrient deficiencies going on. So planning is important. You can get insulin resistance. More than that, it actually ends up stimulating your appetite going on. And then in terms of the time interval between one meal and the next, according to this data, the ideal amount was about 4.6 to 5.5 hours. If you were eating much closer, one meal to the next meal to the next meal, the problem there is, is your appetite gets stimulated going on. And according to this data, if you were eating less than four and a half hours apart, your mortality risk or risk of death she went up by about 17% compared to those who were eating about four and a half to five and a half hours apart between each meal. Now, as you're thinking about the study, it's important to understand this is a correlation study. It's not a causation study. It's population-based. So before you come to any conclusion, you got to take this data and look at all of the other data. Then one of the problems with the study is when you look at the tables around how the groups were, the folks that were eating less than three meals a day and even down to one meal a day, what was interesting was they actually tended to smoke more, they drank more alcohol, they had less education, lower family income, were more food insecure, and their healthy diet wasn't all that healthy going on. So all of these could be confounders, or it could be the fact that they were eating so little that the choices they were making were leading to these outcomes. Who knows? The bottom line here, though, is, is this data is consistent with previous data that two to three meals is the sweet spot. Less or more than that may not necessarily be helpful. The timing in between meals matters. So if you're eating too close, you will start to stimulate your appetite going on. And don't villainize macros, meaning Carbs, proteins, and fats are all healthy part of our eating plan. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And if you got topics you want to hear, let me know for next time. Thank you.